we are really missing a terribly important connection to ourselves. And we are paying an incredibly heavy price. First of all, all around us, we see leaders in media, in business, in politics, with very high IQs making terrible decisions. Have you noticed? <laughs> so clearly, there is something wrong. What is missing is not IQ, but wisdom. And how are we ever going to reconnect with that wisdom, with that place from which creativity and passion and the insights to change the world come from if we don't occasionally disconnect? And that's what is really amazing about the fact that right now, just look at um, all the apps that are coming to the market to help us disconnect. I know it sounds a little paradoxical to use technology to disconnect from technology, but that snake is very wily, so we have to be very wily too. At the Apple Developers Conference last week, for example, the most exciting new feature was not the Maps app, or the fact that Siri now is really good at sports trivia, or the um, long-anticipated integration with Facebook. The most exciting thing was an iPhone tool that actually helped you disconnect from your iPhone. <laughs> it was called Do Not Disturb. And of course, Apple once again tapped into the zeitgeist and knew that people are longing to disconnect. They may not know it, but the brands that will actually help them figure it out are going to have the wind on their back. So as you probably know, Do Not Disturb allows you to still receive messages, emails, phone calls, but it doesn't alert you until you are ready to reconnect. So the reason why this is so important is because we are having we are paying a very heavy price for being always connected. In the States, there's been a 400% increase in the last 20 years in the use of antidepressants. Did you know that France uses more antidepressants than any other country in the world? Five million people are antidepressants. And when you consider that France actually gave us croissants, champagne, <laughs> and afternoon sex. <laughs> you clearly wonder, you know, if you guys can't be happy, what hope is there for the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs>